Nationally, one in five prescriptions is abandoned while a patient is still paying a deductible. For the last several years, health plans across the country have shifted more of the cost of medications onto the very patients who rely on those treatments, resulting in barriers to care. As deductibles continue to outpace wages and inflation, many patients are struggling to cover their out-of-pocket costs. Rather than paying a fixed and predictable copay, insurers are requiring more enrollees to pay a percentage of their medicine's list price, called coinsurance, which tends to shift costs to the sickest patients and prevents patients from knowing how much their medicines will cost until they arrive at the pharmacy. When cost becomes a barrier to access, patients do not use their medications appropriately, often skipping doses in order to save money or abandoning treatment altogether. My name is Melanie Daniel. I have common variable immune deficiency, also known as CVID, which is a type of primary immune deficiency. Last year, because of the high cost, I had to skip some of my treatments and put myself at risk of developing pneumonia for the 15th time in my life. Given that history, I literally could have died having skipped those treatments. The solution to these discriminatory health plan designs is copay choice legislation, which will address these barriers by ensuring that at least a portion of health plans are designed to facilitate, not hinder, access to medications. Laws that keep insurers from charging high coinsurance for specialty tier medications would help me because I would be able to choose a plan with flat fee copays. Insurers would have to offer at least some plans with flat fee copay only coverage for prescription drugs, rather than only offering coinsurance options which require consumers to pay a percentage of high tier prescription drug costs. The copay only plans would have no drug deductible, and the copay fee for each tier of the formulary would be proportionately related and reasonably graduated across all tiers. This approach gives consumers better choices. Plans will be available in which out-of-pocket costs are transparent, so families can plan their financing and not experience the upfront shock of a high deductible. These patient benefits will still allow insurers to offer a variety of plans, as long as a handful of those plans will support access to necessary prescription medications. With these plans, insurers will develop precise amounts for copays, which provides ample flexibility in setting plan designs. With this option, I can better plan my expenses for the year, rather than being slammed up front with the cost of the medication. I would not have to skip some treatments, which puts my health at risk. Legislation addressing this issue is so important to me and others like me who have life-threatening chronic conditions and cannot afford the treatments even with health insurance. Ensuring access to health plan options helps those in need of specialty medications to afford their treatment and allows others to choose coverage that best meets their needs. Sign up for IDF Action Alerts today to be alerted when your action is needed to support copay choice legislation in your state.